recording? No. Okay. Hey, Patreon subscribers, we're here with Wayne Fetterman for something we like to call Five Questions. Wayne, mm -hmm. do hey, you... Hey, first of all, can I say hello to Patreon yeah, subscribers? Yeah, 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 sir. Sure. How many people were we talking about? Because uh, I'm going to ask you a question, and then you're going to ask me the five. Well, I have 156 Patreon. Um, supporters, but I don't know how many are in the $10 and up tier. Is that what... So that's only what they get. get. Okay. $10 and up gets this. Is that per month? That's uh, that's per month, yes. And it's quite... But I'm happy with just the $2 per month people. Yes, Those are yeah, the people. yeah, but they won't even know that this is happening. They won't even know. They won't Can even you do know. one question for the $2 and then no, the other no, four? No, because it's all that? about how it's uploaded. <laughs> Let me ask you something. What's your go-to candy bar? Good question. Complex answer. It's going to be... <laughs> because there isn't really one, but I'm... I'm gonna say Snickers. Snickers packed with peanuts. Why do you like it? Because it's got peanuts. It's a meal. It's a meal. It's, it's a, a meal. meal. It's it is meal. filling. It's an entire meal. Now, I just, I love the many. There, it's like a symphony inside your mouth. What what size do you go for? I just usually go for the regular, not for the king, okay. not for the king. But I also just I just want to shout out to the Hershey bar with almonds, and that the king size. One. Yeah, I like yeah. that one. Yes. That was kind of a that was kind of a two parter, but still counts. I as know, one. I know. I'm bad at answering questions. I'm going to stick with this. Yeah. You Just know, so I'm bad at answering questions. Okay. My next question is: um, scale of one to ten, how are you at answering questions? It's got to be three. It's got to be three, and that's the best. That question <laughs> and that answer was a ten. <laughs> when you go out to the movie theater, yeah, yeah, yes. Do you purchase snacks? As a rule, no. But the other night, when I saw The Shape of Water, guess I had the, the popcorn and the large soda, medium popcorn, large soda with the butter, because, this is gonna sound like I'm bragging, because I'm in the WGA, which is a guild mm -hmm. out here, I got a free pass to see that movie, so I was like, I gotta give something to the theater. So is, so, but it's a rule. So now. you had to pay for the you had to pay for I had the to pay for that. Yes, yeah, yeah. Did you eat all that popcorn? Uh, eventually I did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, favorite James Bond movie. That's easy. The one no one loves of the classics of the of the Sean Connery Thunderball. Oh yeah, I don't like Thunderball. I, no one likes it. My hands down, I feel like there's nothing close in the James in the Sean Connery. You think that's better than Goldfinger? I, what? Obviously. Why would you ask me if I think it's better than Goldfinger? Why would you even ask? I, mean, I don't want that's, to. I feel like you're on a scale of one to ten. That's a two. This is an opinion. You weren't so even listening it, to what I said. There's no wrong answer because it's your opinion. Of course, but I'm just. I understand that Bond aficionados dislike that movie. It, to me, it's better than them all. Even <laughs> the the jetpack, the sharks, the pulp. It's insane. Kyle, you and I are going to have to watch Thunderball again because I kind of highly disagree with him. What about you? Yeah. Isn't, isn't Never Say Never Again a remake? Basic, yeah, remake yeah. Thunderball? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that's a good movie. I'm saying Thunderball is my favorite and my favorite Bond theme song. It's a Tom Jones thing. He, let me just quote one of the lyrics from it. Okay. His needs are more so he gives less. His needs are more, so he gives less. Right. That's a perfect man. That's a perfect. That's pretty good. <laughs> He's super needy, so he doesn't give you any. <laughs> if you were to describe yourself, oh no, would you describe yourself as easygoing, or are you cranky? Oh, not cranky at all. Never. Once in a while, get frustrated at traffic, or I can't find something, or I'm late, and. My printer doesn't work, mm -hmm. but never crank. I, as a rule, I am in a good mood. Most of those are not. How long have you known me? A lot of well, yeah. Have you I've ever been, seen me cranky? I been, mean, other than comedically cranky. Um, no, I haven't. No, no, I'm very happy to be here and alive and all of that. But I didn't know if maybe be you know out and about when you're not in front of people that you're having fun no, with. No, 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 no. You're no. cranky. I'm super. I'm great. You know, what I'm great with. Is strangers, strangers. Like people coming up to you and saying, oh my God, you're Wayne Fetterman. No, no, no. I no. mean like cashiers, waiters, and waiters. Small talk. 
waiters and waitresses, excuse me, somebody selling me a ticket for, uh, or getting me popcorn. I'm that way now too. I used to, my, Kyle's dad, who's my brother, he's like mm -hmm. the king of small talk and I used to make fun of it and now I do it. Now I'm all in it. It's not small talk. I feel like I really like to connect with human beings. I, really I kind of think that I do that now too. Yeah. That's an, that may be I feel like small talk is diminishing what it is. I'm not just like, oh, this is just small talk. How's the weather? No, yeah, you're to, right. I usually try to, in some way, let them know that I appreciate what they're doing. Like I if do they that give me too. the popcorn, I'm just like, this, I don't know how long you've been doing this, but this is fantastic. And that's one and of the like, good things that I think comes with age. You learn to appreciate, because I'm doing that now too. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's an age thing. Have you always, always been like that? Always. I remember in Florida, when I was a kid, they used to, there's something called the Florida Turnpike. Mm -hmm. Now they have like an easy pass situation, but you used to have to pay that person to lay down. Always try to have a moment. Not small talk, just like yeah. a moment to entertain them. Yeah, and you're holding up people when you do that. So let's get moving. Wait, I'm getting a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it is. Not easy going, not cranky, just a flat out jerk. Jerk, jerk. Okay, I think this is number five. Are you counting, Kyle? No, I think this is number phone. five. He's on the phone. He's millennial. He's on the phone. I think this is number five. When yeah. you, yeah. What? Well, now I love it. Or who? Who? What celebrity have you met? Yeah. That was just really knocked you out in a positive way. Like you were like really happy to meet this easy, person. Easy, easy. Henry Winkler. Henry Winkler, the greatest celebrity I've ever met, as far as being a nice guy. As far as being a nice guy. Yeah. But who, was there someone that you've always wanted to meet and then you got to meet that person and you were like, wow, this has been, like like a Carl Reiner or a Mel Brooks or anything, anyone like that. I, I've heard nothing but great things about Henry Winkler and Scott Baio. Yeah, I just, well. I'm kidding about Baio. Okay, okay. Um, well, I He lives in my neighborhood. He's horrible when I I'm see him. I'm trying to, are you saying that I had a great experience with or what is the question? The question is like, someone that you... Again, like, I'm judging this question as a 3.2. Not even a 5. I, I guess since I'm just making the questions off, off the top of my head, who, what celebrity did you meet that you were so happy that you finally got to meet that person? Well, I shook Jimmy Page's hand so that... Was wow, where was that? Backstage at the forum. Wow. During the plant and page... Years, do you remember that? Yeah, I do. Did you did you did you run into Plant at all? Yes, and I said something to Plant that was. Uh, just go fuck yourself, Plant. Is that what you said? I, you know, I don't use the F word. I, so know, you I don't. don't. You don't even use it in your own personal life. I mean, once in a while, like in a moment of frustration, I might. Yeah, but never to a person. Never no. to a person. Okay. Just like out loud. Like, oh, fuck. that kind of thing. Fuck this traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Henry Winkler. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so okay, so that's what I great. said to Robert Plant, and it's embarrassing, but I was just so overwhelmed. Yeah, you know my favorite. So yeah, yeah. I just said, "Nicely done." That's not that's not bad. That's great. And he nodded, and then was like, "Who is this crazy person?" <laughs> <laughs> it was after the show, but I did. was there a connect? Did you? It was there an eye connection? A little bit, a little bit, but it's it was too much. It was I wasn't ready for it. How did you get backstage like that? Somebody had like a pass or something that they, they put on your, you know, your jeans, like a mm -hmm. yeah. sticky thing. What you had to get that from someone. They just didn't hand it yeah. to you. Yeah, I don't know. Who did you know? That's you knew a, someone. That is a good question. Why are you afraid to say it? First of all, the five questions are up. Turn it off. <laughs> Turn that fucking thing off. 